hi again uh, so now in this ninth video uh, we're going to be to do a little bit of furniture uh, you see this element here I believe it's a bench but I'm not too sure so the best way to know since it, this is a very famous building is to go look on pictures and what it is so I'm going to Google images to be open so I should have used another search engine but everybody knows Google and you see this is our thing here it's really a bench so no secret here easy to do you have these square feet and then we have a kind of table on top of it um, Oh yeah, this is pretty easy to do, uh, so how are we going to do this? Put our drawing plane, working plane on the ground, make a rectangle. I'm not sure if this rectangle is evenly placed in relating to the others. The others certainly are. But this first one, anyway, we'll see. Uh, for now, I'm going to fix its height. So this is our foot. No, this is not enough. Yeah, exactly 40. Since this is a very systematic architecture, change the height. I could use here an array, but I'm not sure that this first one is evenly spaced. Uh, you see that it's not at the same place as the others. So the best way to know is simply to measure. So let's measure the midpoint here. And the midpoint there and it's not the same so we cannot really use an array here so we have to clone and we make a clone and now this one we could array but i preferred to out of laziness I decided to go over only uh, to only work with with clones, uh, but you could have another strategy as well. Is if you select several objects, you can clone them all together. So it's actually as almost as fast as doing an array. So these are our feet, and we just need like a big stone table on top of these to make the the bench so i drew a rectangle make sure we are in auto here or front view doesn't matter v4 to put yourself in wireframe view and then we move it oops don't know what happened here. Probably my working plane was wasn't correctly set. Mm, did it again and now it works. So I'm placing my rectangle up. You see that the working space working plane snapping button is on making a structure of it and setting its height to 10 centimeters which is what appears in the in the front view so a bit of renaming as usual keeping the good habits
afterwards we can do more cool stuff because it's not very convenient to have this bench made of like 10 objects uh, but for for now no need to worry about that i would like to do these lines here in these walls and the walls in FreeCAD have these blocks system that if you turn on they can display blocks these blocks can be like uh, not vertically um, a line uh, you see that there is an offset first and offset second uh, properties that you can change to have the second row differently aligned but here we are just going to make this wall make made of blocks of two meters by one meter which is quite easy to guess from the elevations and that won't be exactly uh, aligned like the um, elevations uh, we should play with the offset values to that to make sure the line starts at the same place but here no need to really worry with that i think uh, as long as we have these typical aspect of those tones uh, i will consider myself happy for now and even if the vertical lines are not exactly where they should be um, i'm quite happy that this unmistakably the the Barcelona pavilion and um, a bit of perspective view you can in FreeCAD perfectly well work either in perspective view or orthogonal view uh, it doesn't matter um, I would say some operations are cooler in one mode or another it's really something depends on your preferences so that's it see you in the next video